Hey everyone, this video is going to be a throwback Thursday of sorts. It is a collection of videos from back in the day when I had to create some makeshift DIY machines, uh, basically, when I didn't have access to equipment that I now have access to. I had to get creative. So the first thing here is jerk blocks, strongman jerk blocks. I just use four kegs, two kegs stacked on each other on each side of the log. There's a band on the end of that log attached down to a heavy dumbbell. And the heavy dumbbells just weigh more than the tension that the bands are providing. So this was a good um, strongman jerk block for uh, when I didn't have any. Now this is a hamstring leg curl, Nordic hamstring leg curl to replace a GHD or an inverse leg curl that we have now at the gym. This is just body weight hamstring training. So I put a barbell at the bottom of the squat rack. I put safeties on top of the barbell. So when I applied pressure up against the barbell with the back of my uh ankles the barbell didn't move and i'm kind of doing eccentrics here going down a little bit slow i'm using quite a bit of arms to push back up but it was a great form of hamstring training without uh you know any machines and next up this whole section is about loading heavy things onto a platform i have a lot of experience picking things up and putting them onto platforms bad platforms good platforms and everything in between this was before i had untamed strength when I was in the Marine Corps, I'm picking up a 250 pound sandbag, putting it on a workbench type thing that's down in the lower lower parking garage uh, of the barracks that I was living in. And as you can see, this works okay, but it is not very strong. When I load that bag up there, you can see it bounce up and down. I don't think this would last very long if it was in a public gym. So not the greatest method. This was when I got out of the Marine Corps and I was training in my garage. I got this idea from Elliot Hulse. It's a platform that goes inside of a squat rack. So it's nice because you can adjust the safeties up and down to make the platform taller or shorter. It's also sturdy. So when you hit the platform with a stone on the edge, it doesn't fall off. However, this platform I made, it's like some two by fours and a slat of wood, which looks like particle board, which is not strong wood. In hindsight, this was not a great idea. It's not very strong. And as you can hear in the next clip, it starts to crack. <laughs> Eventually, the whole thing just goes crumbling down. Thankfully, it didn't hurt my brother's foot. So when I got my own gym, I didn't have a stone loading platform, loading platform, so I used two tractor tires. This worked well. It supported really heavy weight, although it's kind of like a giant oversized carnival game for adults because you dump the ball in and it's stuck there. When I was doing this, I just wanted to do this once um, one and done. So I knew if it dropped in there, I didn't care. I just moved the tires. But if you had something to block that hole up top, that might work better. The next method was the same as the first method that I did in my garage. I just reinforced this. So I made, these are like four by four wooden posts that I chopped up, put together and put plywood on top, not particle board. So this was strong. We had, I never had any issues with this platform. It was the floor that had the problem when we dropped stones onto the concrete floor and just one horse horse stall mat we destroyed that floor and i actually rolled my ankle on a hole underneath the uh, horse stall mats just walking by so this platform worked now we have steel platforms but this worked for maybe a home gym now this was back extensions jerk blocks lay on the jerk blocks punch nugget back there putting some pressure against the back of my legs so i can do back extensions you need an, uh, a training partner to do this. Okay, back extensions. This one was not a good idea. This is probably the worst idea I've had. So I'm doing some sort of back extension row. I don't know what I was thinking here, but my it's two tires stacked. My heels are on the inside lip of the top tire. And as you can see, the by my feet, that tire looks like it's lifting up a little bit. So if I had more weight in my hands or I weighed more, that tire might go flipping the wrong direction. So this is not a great idea. Don't do this. All right, banded deadlifts. So I didn't have a deadlift platform. I didn't have band pegs. I just used heavy dumbbells, put uh, bands through them, and then draped it over the barbell to do speed work or just banded deadlifts. Uh, I should have put some more space between these dumbbells because there's like no tension at all on those bands, uh, maybe a little bit at the top. But banded deadlifts without band pegs. There you go. Okay, this was anchor chain drag. So I had to drag uh, an anchor chain at California Strongest Man this year, and I wanted to simulate that. 
Now, what's unique about an anchor chain is that it's heavy throughout the entire anchor. It's not just like a sled drag where it's all the weights at the end in the sled. So I have some chain here attached to a heavy sled and I put a bunch of 35s uh, stopped with carabiners down this chain. So the whole thing is ridiculously heavy. And the reason this is so hard is you have weight throughout the entire chain. You have weight in your hands, not just you know 10 feet away from you at the back of the sled. So it's wanting to pull you down, your upper back is taxed. This really does feel like an anchor chain. Um, and I, I was uh, you know, really patting myself on the back for coming up with this idea. But if you got an anchor chain coming up, you don't have an anchor chain, you could just use some plates, normal chain, and just kind of do this weighted caterpillar all the way down to the sled. And it works really, really well. Untamed strengths. All right, this was a uh, leftover concrete that I had, wet wet concrete that I poured into a uh, half of an Atlas stone, and I carried it like a Husafel. It wasn't that heavy, but that was I didn't have a Husafel stone, uh, so I just carried strikes. this half Atlas Cardio stone, equipment. which feels like a Husafel carry. So that might be something that you could try. You could always use a natural stone also, um, but this was my cardio, just running all the way down to the end of the alley and back with weight. That was my treadmill. This is just a joke. It was then, it is now. I just needed 10 things to make this video complete. I didn't want to put nine. But yeah, this is uh, old, dirty couch squats. Training at home. That's it. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Tread on time!